Here I am in London and I'm feeling a strong sense of deja vu. The street and place names are all so familiar. And give me a pair of dice and I'll tell you why. This is like one giant monopoly board. Thames is right here. Oxford is somewhere over there. Piccadilly, Trafalgar and Leicester are in that direction. I may be a bit off in my road sense, but you get the drift. So what do you say? Time we roll the dice? Tower Bridge is often mistakenly referred to as the London Bridge, which is falling down. In fact, the original London Bridge now stretches over a canal somewhere in Arizona. It is alleged that the American buyer then thought that he too was purchasing the Tower Bridge. The British left behind quite a legacy in India. But what goes around comes around. And here I am in the capital of England. And what do I see and hear around me? Tikkas, curries, chutneys and masalas. Well, London has been taken over by the Indian food phenomenon. And I'm here to try out some specialties. This place has everything you could ask for from North Indian cuisine, sabzis, dals, rotis, and most importantly, kebabs. That's the specialty here. I can see nine kinds of kebabs just for the non-vegetarians. Then there are some veg options and seafood options. This place is meant for the kebab junkie. And being here feels like being in a Bollywood blockbuster. The sequins, the gold splattering, the posters, the wallpaper, everything is so film based. Okay, this is the first round of start. We've got the salmon, the mushroom and the paneer. Oh, okay, salmon, mushroom and the paneer. Okay. Look at the presentation. If it didn't smell Indian, I would never say that this was Indian food. It almost looks European. This is a salmon tikka. I never thought I'd use those two words in the same phrase ever. But what you know? You know, this tastes like smoked salmon. There's not much of a difference really. Mm, let's try the mushroom galotti. But for me, to make a galotti with anything but meat is sacrilege. So this doesn't work. Okay, so we've got some more kebabs here for you. Yeah. This is Laos kebab. Corn. Ooh. And then some vegetarian ones. So we've got the corn here. Okay. And the stuffed bell pepper. It's a very nice looking seed kebab. Because it's got onions all around it. And it's very soft. That's a good seed kebab. You know they talk about the kind that melt in the mouth? This is nice. And it's fairly spicy. Mm. Now we're talking about the spicier stuff here. Even the prawn kebab really brings it on. It really brings it on. That's a nice veg corn kebab and it's flavoured with fenugreek. Very interesting flavour. 